Hello and welcome back. Today I'll be talking about my bike, the Yamaha FZ6 Phaser S2. Here are 10 reasons why you should get one. Stick around. Reason number one, let's face it, it's just one sexy bike. There's something about the styling, the lines, the way this thing's put together, it's just a beautiful bike, especially from this type of angle. I get lots of head turning going on when I'm going down the street and I do believe this is one of the main reasons to get one. Look at it, look at it. Oh, oh, so nice. So another great reason to get one is that it's cheap to insure. I'm in the UK and I pay about a hundred pounds per year for the most basic third party insurance. And that's for it to be stored in London on street. Reason number three, it is also cheap to buy. It cost me two and a half thousand pounds. Now, that was two years ago, and I got a very, very, very good condition one. But um, you can get a great version of one of these for between one and two thousand pounds, which is a steal, really, given how reliable and how fantastic they are. So look into it. Reason number four, these bikes are actually brilliant for pillions. Does that seat also obviously it's huge for the uh, the rider but it's a good size considering it's only a 600 cc bike there's a lot of space there and a lot of leg room you can also see here there are big handholds which really make a huge difference for the pillion another reason to get this bike is the top end power as you can see it redlines about 14,000 rpm but between 8 and 14 this bike just takes off it's an animal a little bit of a wheelie beast in first and second gear it's absolutely fantastic so that's a real reason to get one now next up we have reliability uh, i have good reason to say that this is one of the most reliable bikes you could probably get i think yamaha's in general are the most reliable brand and the fz6 has been around for ages it's tried and tested i've had no problems with this bike over the last two years and i've put some serious mileage on it every time i've taken this to get serviced the engineer that i've worked with have said i've chosen the most reliable bike there is out there so really do take my word for it the fz6 is unbelievably good next up we have the general attention to detail there are so many little elements on this bike that really just make a huge difference when it comes to its usability for example, having these wing mirrors able just to flip in like that is a lifesaver when it comes to filtering through traffic and parking. Another thing here is adjusting the, the clutch cable. There's no lock nut, it's just on a little spring here. And you literally simply just turn it as you desire and it's automatically locked. That is absolutely fantastic as far as I'm concerned. Something else that's fantastic in terms of attention to detail is the oil drain plug and the oil filter, both seen there, are on the side of the bike, not underneath it, not behind anything. So when it comes to changing your oil yourself, it's so easy to get to. There's no fiddling underneath the bike, trying to get to the plug, unsure whether you can get it in. It just, you put it on its side stand, as it is now, you open it up, and you just drop the oil out. Having that, those two elements on the side, is just to save so much time, is amazing. Another thing to consider and to talk about and think about in terms of versatility is the ergonomics. Now the relationship between the seat, the foot peg and the handlebars. Now there's something about that rider triangle as they call it, just seems to work for everyone. I'm not a very tall person and I've got friends who are very tall and we're both equally just comfortable in it. There's something about it that allows you to crane over the handlebars and get sort of a hunched over sporty position. Or equally, it allows you to lean back and relax and just cruise down the road. This bike ergonomically just seems to work for everyone and every riding style. That's a real plus. Another fantastic thing is how quiet this bike is. I'm not massively into the you know, aftermarket exhaust pipes you know that you can hear from a mile off i've had that it is good fun for about 20 30 minutes but this bike is so quiet it just you just whiz down the road so smooth so quiet it's unbelievable and i love that i won't change these exhaust pipes at all it's fantastic i mean i know that's a personal preference some people believe loud bikes are safer bikes i disagree i think safety is all up to you 
but this bike is lovely and quiet. Next up, we have this bike's general versatility. I mean, it's a real all-rounder. I mean, of course, it's not an off-road bike, but it's easily a tourer, as you can see with my pannier set and top box. It's also small enough and light enough to be great in town. It's really a do-it-all machine. It's got great top-end power, so you can really rip it if you want to, but also it's not bad low down, and it's nice and smooth, so you can cruise around on those crunchy roads, as well as get try and get your knee down. The handling's fantastic, and it's perfect for almost every single real life biking scenario. So that's it, the FZ6 Phaser S2. What an unbelievable machine, I'm so glad I got one. It's absolutely perfect. It's as close to the perfect bike as you can possibly get. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give this a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe. I've got plenty more videos to come. Thank you.